You know what my favorite thing has been during the World Cup has been um, watching the World Cup in the United States because I've never watched the, 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 the World Cup in the U.S. before. And in, in South Africa or in like the U.K., you generally have one type of commentary, right, which is generally from the U.K. And British commentators are pretty standard. They're very, like, they're well-versed in the game. They give you context. But in America, it's interesting. You've got three different types of commentators that they've been using depending on what channel you're watching it on and when. So you have British commentators sometimes, and then you have, like, the American commentators, and then you have on, I think it's FS1, there's a commentator, and I cannot tell, like, if he's from Mexico or if he's, I just know that he's a Latino gentleman. And, like, every single one of them is different. Because, like, the British commentators give you context. It's very chilled out. They'd be like, and here we are, Brazil up against uh, this amazing team that has come a very, very long way. And, and we look at how they're playing. Switzerland, really good defensively. And the ball will be moving. They'll be like, Neymar on the ball. <laughs> and they'll chill, and they'll chill. And they'll be like, you know, he's been having a really great season. It's very relaxed, very... Where the Americans have to make it seem like something's always happening. Neymar on the ball. There's Neymar. Look at him running. I mean, this guy's so strong. Look at him. He's turning around, and he can do anything at any point. Neymar again. Look, he's running back now. Now he's running forward. Neymar passing that ball. There's Marcelo coming around him, cutting around. Oh, this is Neymar's... It's like it's always action. And then the Latino guy's my favorite because he's got, like, catchphrases and stuff. He's like, Neymar. Neymar on the ball. Busting through. He's going to take it. Oh, no, and he's pulled back. He has spoiled the surprise. <laughs> he has spoiled the surprise for the game.